Hello and welcome to another unnecessary unboxing here from Ricky's Productions. My name is Ricky and today we're going to be unnecessarily unboxing the new LG X Power from Cricut Wireless. This device has a really cool feature. It's a fucking 4100 milliamp battery. Uh, there's a reason this thing is called power because it's that's the biggest battery I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. That t type of size is usually reserved for tablets that can hold that size or like really premium phones. So it's really nice to see that in, you know, a phone that doesn't cost a lot. <laughs> Um, and they usually, you know, they usually make it really thick, but surprisingly LG with this phone, they made it quite thin and light. Uh, so it doesn't feel like it's a humongous brick. Uh, it's just a little bit unbalanced with the battery making it bottom heavy, but it's still pretty light for what it is. The phone is made out of plastic, both matte and glossy, but unfortunately they put the glossy plastic on the sides, so it makes it kind of feel cheap. Um, it also looks like a phone for someone who works in construction, so it's kind of more rugged looking. So just take a look at it before you buy it, see if you like that look. The software on this guy is also Android Marshmallow 601 with the July security update. It is identical to the software which I found on the er, on the LG Stylo 2 earlier this year. This phone also comes with a 720p HD display, which is 5.2 inches. It isn't very bright as I would like it to be, but it will still get the job done for sure. The specs are something that surprised me for this phone. Since it's called Power, it only has a Snapdragon 210 or 212 processor. It didn't tell me specifically, um, but I would expect at least a 400 series processor in here. But it does have 1.5 gigs of RAM, which is nice to see. And the device comes with 16 gigabytes of storage with the ability to add an SD card as well. Now onto the camera, which is the phone's weaker point. It's an 8 megapixel back camera and a 5 megapixel front camera. It just seems like it makes everything a lot darker and really focuses on those shadows. Don't know why, but it's like living during an eclipse or something. The speaker on this guy is also pretty good. It doesn't get very loud, but it has absolutely no distortion. And if you're a bass head, it has really good bass. Overall, it's a pretty good phone, and I don't like it as much as the Silo 2 from earlier this year, but it'll be a good contender with the Escape 3, especially since it has one of my favorite features, quick charging. That's always a winner in my book. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or anything else, uh, make sure to drop those in the like button. Make sure to comment the like button, and I'll subscribe to you next. Bye.